smiling so big. Yeah, so big. Oh. What are you doing, crazy? There she is. Take some of those caterpillars home and have them over rice. Ew. Look at that lizard, he's feasting on them. He's gonna get big quick. Where is it? Oh yeah. Oh cute. Wow, there are lots of bugs up there. We'll just leave it be. That's a big old bumble right there. Belgian to burn. best oyster I've ever had in my life. Where'd you get it? Oyster Fleet. The Oyster, oyster the Ghost, ghost Fleet. Uh, North Carolina. Ghost oh, Ghost Fleet. Fleet. Sorry. And they sell at That's the, what I meant. They sell at the Hampstead Farmer's Market every week. Yep. And right now, it's 2024, they sell a bag of 25 oysters for 25 bucks. It's good stuff. Which one is this one, Jen? The You brought your little truck, huh? You brought your little truck? It's crazy. Oh, good shot. Thank you. It's <laughs> unbelievable. I've, I'm just, in our lifetime, since we've started owning homes, we have dealt with a lot of defective crap yeah, this like this is just ridiculous. and poor workmanship Who would have ever thought? but i don't want i don't want to take this off but then i don't want to just half-ass repair it and then paint it and then have this problem again you know yeah. so what i was going to do is uh i was going to rough this up with a wire brush because something's causing the mud not to hold right mm -hmm. and my buddy said why don't you just spray paint it with kills i think that's a good idea that'll give it some, something to anything to give it some tooth mm -hmm. look at that oh, God. well that would 
be a lot of bait. Okay, there you are. What a beauty. What a pretty spider. Let me see if she will let me pet her. Yeah, that's a good girl. That is an Argiope spider, or Argiope, or Argiope, however you want to say it. Clear this whole web out of here because I've got to go downstairs. What have you done again? Uh, I made something delicious. It doesn't mm. happen very often. I love your homemade blue cheese and your wedge, wedge salads. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it rain. Look, it's raining right there. <laughs> yep, and we're in it. Yep, it's up here. Yeah, we're getting it. Good. Now we're driving out of the rain. Because we're getting into our game. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's just sad. What? New Goodman? Oh, new. You don't spend a lot of money on food, though, right? Oh, yeah, I bet. I was, we were walking down there, and I was looking at the ground. I was like, that's some big footprints. And she said, they're right there. I was like, those are big. Oh, oh my God. Nothing on any Oh, yeah. 150 pounds. That's a lot of dog. Look at those footprints. Mustard. Mustard's all done. Almost as big as my hand. Destin, <laughs> look what I found in the rushing water. And I found this lady out here. <laughs> This is really cool. In case you want to get a good idea of how to tie back a retaining wall, um, I did something a lot like this at my house uh, by myself, and it was a hell of a job. But look at that threaded rod through uh, treated posts. All this will be backfilled. And they've got that framed up nicely. It's beautiful. It's ready to go. Everything is just kind of bolted together so this wall cannot push out so easily with these posts. Look at them buried in rock. Probably three, three or four feet down. That is awesome. It's amazing what you can do with a sawzall. Um, I'm in this dense area of brush behind my house. And I want to make it so I can see what's out there. Because what's out there is beautiful. You see? But you can't see through all of this. So I get real intimate. I've got chainsaws. I've got big timber saws. And I've got finish or trim saws. And 
but this is just a good way to get into these vines and and cut through all this dense foliage so I can see through here starting to get it whittled out a little bit and there's a lot of debris coming out of here a lot of work to do but look I've got a lot of these uh, pendo or jelly palms that one I planted there from a seedling over here <coughs> and these things I can't stand these uh, Spanish swords oh they're terrible but you can take them and pull them up if they're not too deeply rooted just want you don't get poked but yeah clearing this out nicely once all this debris is out of here it should be quite beautiful again All this yard <clears throat> debris, there's hundreds of pounds of it. All of this just keeps going. All of this will get consumed in this little fire ring right here with me and a hose tending. And it won't be that bad. Hopefully a nice cool day. <laughs> Yay, what? <laughs> We're here, finally! Yeah. Look how beautiful it is. So Yeah, it doesn't look as nice without the glasses. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it looks, looks beautiful. Looks like the Caribbean out here. Yeah, it does. I don't, I can't say for sure whether it's coming in or going out still. I mean, coming in still. I think it's going out because it was wet up to here. Yeah. Yeah, and it always goes out here before there. Yeah. And it's starting to go out there, right? Or no, uh, it's no. High tide there. I think it's high tide where we are. Beautiful. So beautiful. Everything is beautiful. Tell me when to push. Tell me when to push. Don't get injured this time. Okay. okay, I'm going to divulge a trick that I showed people years ago and somebody stole it. Somebody stole my video and put it on TikTok and it got like 40 million views. Really? Yeah, did you hear about that? Destin's, I mean, I Destin's friends in Charlotte, North Carolina said they saw it and they sent a link. Okay. Um, I wish we had. Yeah, I wish I had 40 million. On it, but this is my trick. I used to do this years ago. It's that um, cabana. When we first, yeah, coming out with any kind of tent, you need to tie down. Everybody's filling up these 50 pound bags of sand, and you don't need to do all that. Here, wrap that around there. Ooh, those are big dogs. Would you wrap that around here? Just wrap it around a few times. I got it. Well, I, I think that you need more sweat. And one hand on the camera. And that buddy is enough right there. How about that? Excellent. Okay, you can wrap it. What do you got? Nice tooth hunting, my lady. Nice. <laughs> Only took me an hour to get these. I want you to find a megalodon now. Yeah, okay. 
Huh? No, not everybody can find what I find. This. <laughs> but everything else. What? What's that? Looks like makeup. So it's sunscreen with color in it. Huh? I mean, it's tinted a little. Just enough to get on your bathing suit. <laughs> <laughs> and where did you get that bathing suit? Uh, Key West. Dentist Key West. Hmm. I'll say. I can't believe that you're going to let that dog pass. Well, I'm eating right now. I don't want my hands to get doggy. <laughs> oh. But I do love him. Right. Her. You don't know her. Him. We'll, we'll be the only ones in there. Going in? Yeah. Perfect. Paradise. Paradise found. That's what I am doing. Oh, you're gonna make a snack for the beach? Yeah, but this is slight this is the boiled popcorn. I made a video about this already. You boil it for 30 minutes and then it you cook it. I'm gonna cook it with some ghee. Like mm -hmm. pop it, mm -hmm. and it's going to be old maids. Oh. Why is it on here? Just to dry? Yeah, I put it in the oven for like 20 minutes after I boiled it to dry it out. Ah. Kids says, oh, I want some old maids. Yeah, I don't want that grandpa. <laughs> he ate one earlier that was on the floor. So yeah, these will be but for the beach. Those are crunchy. And it's the last couple few weekends of the beach of this season, of your 58th season, right? Yes. Right. Spoon, please. Time is a flying. Medium is my trick here. Just put a little of that in there. Put a little. That's very. Early. A little of that and a that little. Much? Yeah. And a little coconut oil. Okay. Okay. We need more oil. Let's put some olive oil in there. I like a mixture. So this is basically butter. You want olive oil in there? Yeah. It shouldn't be heated at high temperature. Well, all right, we'll do this for now. What? Beef tallow. Yeah. I was thinking about... Then we can just chop up potatoes and make fries Ooh. in beef tallow. Oh. And, and it'll be healthy. Well... I mean, <laughs> healthier. You want your popcorn? You little cutie pie. You want your popcorn? Sweet cutie baby. Pie. That's the sweetest dog ever. Mm -hmm. You little cutie. I'm just putting a bunch of this sea salt in here. What you making me? Tuna, and then I just opened salmon by accident. <laughs> oh, this might be your best mistake yet. Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> are you making yourself sneeze? Smiling so big? Yeah, so big. Oh, you're so cute. You look you're so, so cute. Evil. You're yeah. not, though, are you? Oh. He's a sweet boy. Be good, Poe. Oh, you're so cute. Good boy, Ollie. He doesn't like these peanut butter ones. Oh, bummer. He said, I did all that smiling for peanut butter. Oh, you can eat it later. You're so cute. You want to take another one for later? Oh, did you get lost? Did you the boy is, is mama going to take you back to your mama? Yes. <clears throat> Jen? Jen, you're not going to be able to get away easily. 
Well, I have to because my bike's in the middle yeah. of the road. Yeah. <laughs> See Floyd over there? Yeah. <laughs> You're off roading, huh? <laughs> See ya. Okay, bye. Now, this is it cooling after it's popped because I'm, I'm going to put it in a bag and bring it to the beach. But I put nutritional yeast on here. That's one of my favorite things to put on popcorn and sea salt. What are you doing, crazy? Oh, yeah. Give it to me, Poe. Give me that. Give me that. Crazy boy. Give me that. Give me Give it. Give it. Give it. Give it. You'll put your eye out. <laughs> Yeah, get it, bro. Yeah, we're out here at the farmer's market drinking our pet food. You're not supposed to sell goat milk for human consumption. What a shame. It's tasty. Isn't it great that our government controls us and doesn't want us to drink healthy milk? But the stuff that only the stuff they sell in stores pasteurized. How is it? Tasty. I'll never forget my elbow. I was in such pain for like six months. I thought there was something wrong with my elbow. And I was wearing this weird brace that somebody gave me. And I went to my chiropractor and he broke apart this scar tissue in my arm here and here. And all of a sudden it was better. That's amazing. Your, your arm was totally healed. By a chiropractor yet again. It was amazing. Yeah. So. And it was not what I thought it was, and he knew exactly sure. what it was. He just gave blood. He had a red band on his arm. It's 22. 